Welcome back. Today's video is all about how to create a razor sharp focus. This is a question I get asked about once a month. How, what meditative technique can I use to get a laser sharp focus? And I'm here to tell you, it's not what you think. And I can prove that to you, because if it was what you thought it was, you wouldn't need to ask me. You would just use the powers that you think you're using for concentration, and you would continue to use more of those, and it would work perfectly, and you'd never need to ask me. But you're asking me because it's not working what you think it is. And I think generally what we think it is, it's the left brain. We're going to focus in like this. And we're just going to bring more and more and more powers of focusing like this together. And that is going to reduce the results that we want from our concentration, either reaching that Eureka moment or staying focused on what we're doing, but it's not the actual workhorse of this process. The left brain is entirely sequential. So it's one thing at a time. We don't speak four or five or ten words at once. We use the left brain and its word-oriented system to put one thing after the other, which is incredibly useful when you're trying to understand how a process works. But nothing is ever quite so simple. It's always more complicated. And your concentration is absolutely more complicated than that. The greatest way that I can teach this to you is in the process of Hakala, which is a Hawaiian technology. You pick one point in front of you, you put all of your mind on that one point, and while you're doing that, you engage all of your peripheral vision. And so in doing that, you are dilating your eyes. And in this way, we're taking what we know. We know how to do this, right? We can concentrate like this. It's not hard. Everybody can do that, right? We just put our mind on that one dot. But if you continuously do that, you will automatically do what I'm describing. You will engage your peripheral vision. If you hold one point steadily in front of you, you will begin to engage your peripheral vision eventually. I'm just telling you to do it right away. So you look at one point, and while you do that, you open up your peripheral vision and become aware of everything on the sides simultaneously. And that's how you know you're engaging the right hippocampus of the brain. Because the right hippocampus is spatial. It is not sequential. So some people have said to me, no, Forrest, you cannot hold two things at once. That's right. Not in the left brain. In the right brain, you can. Because a picture, think about this. If you look at all of a picture, you look at the whole thing. The house, the clouds, the sky, the trees, everything. You take it all in at once. And then you'll use the left brain to separate out all those pieces and label them. But as you take it in, you take it in all at once. That's using a spatial perception. And that's all inside of the right hippocampus. It's the land of all meaning inside of your brain. It's the land of all imagery. And because it's images, images take light. So the right hippocampus is the land of light inside your brain. Everything that has to do with meaning and light is contained in that part of your radio brain system. So. It's a glorious, beautiful place to be. And it's actually the goal of meditation is to go into the non-dual state of the right hippocampus. And it's not a sequential driver, it's an everything driver. And that's how the aha moment comes to you. It comes to you because you get closer to the right hippocampus and whatever you've been thinking about in the background of your mind gets answered suddenly from the right hippocampus, which contains all that you know and has access to more than you think you know and it just floods over you and this is what we describe as the aha moment so getting to it 
you have to begin to engage that right hippocampus. And there's a great example from Thomas Edison that he would sit in his chair and he would hold a handful of ball bearings. And what he was trying to do, he, he was using, he, he wanted to get closer to sleep, to a trance state, as he thought about his light bulb situation. He was holding the ball bearings so that he could relax enough but not fall asleep because if he totally fell asleep, his grip would relax, the ball bearings would drop and he had a steel plate underneath and it would go bang, 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 and it would wake him up. And that's how he would continuously stay in a trance in order to think deeply about the things he wanted to invent. And of course, Nikola Tesla worked for Edison as well. And Tesla was very well known to be able to create huge pictures, working pictures that he would then manipulate and change. All of that pictorial stuff comes in play in the right hippocampus. So this is where the really deep concentration comes into play. It's not a left brain predatory focus. It's an opening from that point and beholding and accepting and going into a trance. A little bit of focus and a lot of trance is a razor sharp focus. It's not razor sharp. It's actually very soft. So you want a hard and soft kind of focus for all of your studies and your aha moments. You need both of those. So you're, you're using the sharp focus only in the beginning, just to pick that one point, And then you want to go into that spatial awareness, that peripheral vision. So you pick one subject that you're concentrating on, and then you immediately go into this trance state. And that will encapsulate your mind around that one subject and you won't stray. It's the left brain that wants to jump around. The right brain will hold everything in a trance in a huge spatial perception. So to create that razor sharp focus inside of yourself, you only need a split second of picking one point. Just pick that one point or that one idea that you want to focus and then you immediately go into your peripheral vision. You go into a trance because it's the trance which puts you in the right hippocampus where you can have the aha moment. You can't do it in the left brain. It's absolutely impossible. You'll never get there. So the way that you thought it was will never do you a good, uh, a good service. It has to be the right hippocampus. It has to be a light trance. It has to be an opening up into your peripheral vision into your spatial perception, which is all in the right hippocampus of the brain. Beautiful stuff. One of my Qigong teachers would say it this way, get a little sleepy, get a little sleepy as you're doing the movement, get a little sleepy. So as you concentrate on that one thing, get a little sleepy, dilate your eyes, go into your peripheral vision. Think about that one thought that you're trying to think about for your razor sharp focus and just expand it out go into that spatial perception because that's the land of the aha moment. So I hope you loved this. If you did, hit that bell down below so I can see you all next time. <laughs>